Hello and welcome. Please pause the video and try this problem on your own. All right, so this problem says that the inequality, 7 minus 2 thirds of x is less than x minus 8. So we, they want to know what it's equivalent to, which other inequality. In other words, they want to simplify this inequality and see if it matches any of the choices. So you can solve an inequality just as you solve an equality. All those balancing rules apply. The only, the only exception is if you divide or multiply both sides, not just one, but both sides by a negative value, you have to reverse the direction of the inequality. So if it was opening to the right and you multiply both sides by a negative number, you'd have to switch that to open to the left. So just to, just to demonstrate that point, we definitely don't have to do this as a first step. I'm going to do that for fun. I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1. So once I multiply everything by the same value, we know it's still going to remain balanced. So 7 becomes negative 7. Negative 2 thirds becomes positive 2 thirds x. On this side, we have negative x and then plus 8. Because I multiply both sides by a negative value, we reverse the direction of our sign. Now to solve this problem, we'll get x's on one side, we'll add x to both sides, and then scroll down a little bit, okay. So here, these x's cancel out to 0. We still have 8. On the left-hand side, we still have negative 7. 2 thirds plus 1 group of x. It's 1 and 2 thirds x. Right? 1 and 2 thirds x. Then I'm going to isolate the x term by adding 7 to both sides. So here, what I get is 1 and 2 thirds x is greater than 15. 1 and 2 thirds to convert this to an improper fraction. Um, I think of it as 1 as 3 thirds plus 2 thirds is 5 thirds. Right, so we have 3 thirds and 2 thirds. 3 thirds is just 1. Or you can do 3 times 1 plus 2 is 5 over 3. 5 thirds greater than 15. To solve for x here, uh, we can do that in one step by multiplying by the reciprocal of this coefficient, by 3 over 5 on both sides. Then these cancel out to 1. You can test it out. 15 over 15 is 1. Greater than 15 times 3 is 45. Divided by 5 is um, 15. Wait, what did I just say? Sorry. 45 divided by 5, oh boy, is 9. Sorry about that. And you can solve it that way, or you can realize that 15 over 5 is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. So we're looking for the, the choice that matches x being larger than 9. And we have it here in choice 1. And then if you're not sure, you can test this out. It's saying any x value is larger than 9, so I'll choose 10, would balance, would make this inequality true. Actually, excuse me, I'll pick 30 because, um, because I, I see you have thirds here, and I want to multiply by a multiple of, of thirds. Because I could have chosen a smaller multiple, but I'll, choose, I'll use 30. So 7 minus 2 thirds of 30 should be less than 30 minus 8, plugging in 34x. 30 minus 8 is 22. 2 thirds of 30, well, 30 over 3 is 10, times 2 is 20. 7 minus 20 is definitely negative 13, and that's less, definitely less than 22. So this works. All right, hope this helped.